so I can cast easily. <laughs> I'll buy a Conda so that it makes my ult stronger, and then you know, then you go for the rapier. So, a lot of gold. Oh, well, this is going to be an exciting one. And that is, in fact, the way the tether looks on that set. I was not aware. Interesting. Yeah, kind of curves. That's uh, a cool set, though. Yeah, very Aztec like or Mayan. Mm. Mm -hmm. As we are into game number one of this best of three between Liquid and Gaming Gladiators. This is the lower bracket. This is not the grand finals, believe it or not. <laughs> so loser goes home. Or they stay here and enjoy their shawarma. Yep, as they should, of course. Yeah. If Why they not? listen to any of you. That's right. What do you guys think of the troll this game? This is a hero that I have a love-hate relationship with. It feels like it's a hit or a miss, really. I think the hero is really good. I think to some extent it's a hard troll game. Mm -hmm. I think swap is pretty good not because what you do is the Venge will stand really far away and swap the troll away mm -hmm. and now troll is just ulted like in the corner of like the jungle mm -hmm. and just sad so I think his game is pretty hard and like it's gonna be a lot on the lanes for mm -hmm. the troll like I think troll is to win his lane I think Timber is to win his lane yeah and mid Quinn has to probably mitigate the damage just because yeah. he got counterpicked and I I think this is one of the harder counterpick matchups yeah I, I Kind of like Gaiman's draft up until I saw the, I think, last picks. I think the Trolls should have a fine game until like later. I do think Gaiman need to play from a position where in the mid game they're at least even or slightly ahead and you get like multiple blink daggers. Because I think if the game ever gets to a stage where Liquid get to like take slow fights the way that they want, I don't see how they can lose. Yeah. So I think Gaiman need to like play on tempo, be ahead, make sure you have the right itemization. Because yeah, I think the Dwarven Sniper, <laughs> Nisha should be cooking this game. We'll see. see. <laughs> I'll believe when I see it. <laughs> Trust me, he will. There's something about this hero you just can't take seriously. I don't know what it is. It's almost like Pudge. walk. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is the animations. Mickey, as you can see, playing the carry Marcy. Do you guys think this one will be, uh, is it enabled enough in this game? Yeah, I think this hero is honestly a little underrated. Mm -hmm. um, the new eggs, just a, a lot of things about it seem really, really good. Um, the Because people will, will they, like press E on themselves just randomly with the eggs and just have a silence like guaranteed. Yeah. So, I What do you think is the build then on the hero? Because I think the axe is really cool and also pretty damn good in this game. All these heroes rely on getting to use their spells. I think something along the lines of getting uh -oh. a really fast Raggio, B tier carry potentially. He's going to throw out the axes, but that will be first blood for Insania. An early death for the Troll Warlord. So it is a, what's this, a boxy IO, right? It is. Isn't Insania usually their IO or is it? Boxy. That's what I thought too. Um, well, not this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just surprised because I, I thought in the past there was always Insania who played the Isles. So maybe it's a strategy kind of thing, mm -hmm. or he just doesn't want to play Venge. Oh. I think both are acceptable reasons. Okay, jumping all over the place. Now we find the connection though. Uh, Dark Will, another hero that we're not seeing a ton of since uh, TI. It was spammed ad nauseum. It yep. was like literally every single game, and then they nerfed the Shadow Realm cooldowns and the talents and literally anything to do with Shadow Realm. You guys still, I mean, it's a support, obviously, in this case, but I, mean, I guess it was support and a lot of times in um, win? TI oh. that actually ends up yeah. going to core. Did you like it when it was a carry at TI? No, it was terrible. Really? Terrible to watch. I feel like it had potential, but then the moment people saw it once, they were all like yeah, just, just tunnel visioning on just making it work. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I feel like it's more of a, you need to like enable it, set it up. But yeah, we can see that the mid matchup is, uh, well, it's anything but pretty for Quinn. And yeah, this is, a, this is a matchup thing, for sure. Yep. It's also the 1v1 champion. That is true. Versus the top 40 mid. Versus the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a little unfair, you know? Got a pretty penny for that 1v1 tournament. Got to dispose onto Ace, but he's just going to provide some nukes to Mick A. You can see the Brambles come down, but... Just gonna dissuade the aggression here from Liquid. Easy Lotus. Yeah, Lotus time, Boxy. With no brambles to stop it and no curse crown yet for Tofu. Easy pickup. So this yeah. is one of those things where the Timbersaw Odyssey it's really happy in the draft. It's like a good Timbersaw game mm -hmm. outside of the Bat Rider, and I don't think that matchup's even like unplayable by yeah. any means. And he was first pick. We've been seeing that a lot this turn where first picks happen. are just not countered somehow. It's interesting. I think it can sometimes be hard because a lot of the broken heroes, like Timbersaw, for example, a lot of his like main counters are amazing, yeah. and or you just can't pick them freely because they're countered by other meta stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he is. I think I've never seen Quinn get disowned in the lane. Six and zero to twenty-one eleven. But we've 
it feels like anytime Quinn gets dumpstered in lane, which again is not that often, he still makes a comeback. But yeah. this is brutal. Yeah. I think it's going to be a lot on how the team enables him, mm -hmm. which will probably be around this bot lane with Timbersaw. I think Ace needs to put in a good amount of work this yeah. game. Accelerating, that's one way to enable. Taking one water rune out of the equation. I think right now, if you're the support like on Gaiman, you're going to have to think about how you enable the puck, either by bringing him into moves or making moves to his lane. And I think if you're Liquid, you're also you're going to have to double down to make sure these moves like don't really happen. You make sure Nisha like, doesn't feed, you keep him like topped off, you help him on the six-minute runes. Because your whole draft is kind of built around the Sniper. If Nisha has a good game and the supports around him are fine, I think Liquid are in an incredibly good position. Quinn low on HP and mana now. He's just playing so low. He's trying yeah. to bait this water room, but he's just going to end up taking it out. Yeah, this is a dumpstering. I mean, Gaiman don't have, like, the best support, at least for now, to, like, move to mid, right? Like, Willow, yeah. SD, it's kind of, like, it's slow, their damage takes forever, it's easy to, like, kind of counterplay. Also for the Willow, it's not a guaranteed one. Because yeah. the Puck has no spells yeah. to help set up, no slows, no stuns or anything. Cellar with three stacks of Shadow Poison, make it four for the road. We'll do a decent amount of damage to 33. That is one crazy ass courier. Jesus. I feel like 3 3 is the closest European player when it comes to cosmetics against the, the Chinese. <laughs> yeah, the Chinese yeah. definitely. They are crazy on, on, the, on the Riz and the bling bling. Rebound there from Mickey into the dispose. Ace doing just fine though. I mean, at this, for, for Liquid, when can they actually go for kills in the lane, if ever? I think they kind of missed their window, which isn't to say like it was a play thing. I think just killing this Timbersaw is probably only going to happen at level 2. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Willow's going to TP top just because there's no point in being bought anymore. Sania getting slow. Brambles come out. Whirling Axis from Dorachi onto 33. Gets the Ooh, net. 33 trying to get out with that flame break. Makes Wait. his way out of the maze, oh. but it's not quite enough as Tozer Ooh, finds it in the end. Dorachi limping away. Yeah. Uh, Tofu getting gun on. Meanwhile, bottom lane, that leaves Ace to his own devices, but does have the two in reactive armor, so... And the helm. Should be okay. I'm See curious what Mickey's going to buy. It looks like he's buying armlet. Mm -hmm. Which I was thinking is pretty good. I don't think you buy the farming build that people used to buy in Marcy, like this uh, Battle Fury. Yeah. I guess there's Maelstrom's people are buying too, but I don't think either of those are really that good. Because I think his goal is just to run around with IO and kill everything mm -hmm. and let the sniper be the real carry. Yeah, I think anything that just allows him to like, right, like stay in the fight, go in, help enable Nisha to like stay in the backline and take the fight he wants kind of makes sense. So yeah, I think the, the armlet is chill. I think it's okay. It's just a little sad because she's now a universal hero. Mm -hmm. So Armlet on Universal here is just worse than Shrek. Nice rebound. Yeah, good attempt here, Ace. He should be getting pretty fine. low still with the Whirling, or with the Timber Chain, I should say. He's getting harassed out now for now. And do you think there's anything else he could rush first item that like kind of fits the game? I think probably maybe a Diffusal. Mm -hmm. It's really good versus Timber and Troll. Okay, Diffusal is chill, yeah. But I mean, maybe he wants like more HP. I see the armor for the HP. Yeah. It gives him just HP armor. It's not necessarily bad. Yeah. It's just one of those things that it's always sad to buy a universal hero. Mm -hmm. 33. Just he is getting ganked pretty damn hard. You can see live, Insania though. coming out to help as well. 33 into the trees he goes. He'll be fine as a result. More TP rotation coming. Mm -hmm. Wave of Terran to Tofu, but looks like he'll break things up there. All right, Quinn's back. Safety bubble acquired. <laughs> He has 2,000 net worth to Nisha's 3.5k. Yeah, they can't change too much about the. I mean, he did get at least Coil as he was farming backwards, like he stacked his camp. But yeah, as Gunner was mentioning, safety bubble, like Seeds of Serenity are actually very big in this situation. As Nisha will slowly whittle away the tower. <laughs> See, you're so dumb. Sa Love it. Safety bubble was the best neutral in the game, right? Yeah. Like for its, for its uh, tier? It, it does way too much. I don't know if they're even like tier two, tier three, like for the relative time you get it, there's mm -hmm. a better one than safety bubble. Okay, so he's stacking his camp behind him, I guess, with shrapnel, yeah. since he just used it. Have eight in, aim in a rune coming, it will be bottom, it's the shield, as the first shrapnel points put in, as Quinn looking to get a kill here. Oh. Gets Holy the damage! Too, but the damage <laughs> coming out from Nisha is ridiculous. Luckily for Quinn, had the illusory orb up, so we'll be able to get out. Live for safety bubble. Yep, very true. Oh no. Duraccio. Oh, he has Chase a gets a nice net, still has oh, he the got battle trance. Yeah. yeah. Just like one or two creeps, like, you know, got denied early in the lane, and that's a kill, so. If 3-3 really three three has Glyph there, I think it just came back. If he has Glyph, he actually probably kills the Rachi there. Yeah. But nicely done. That's Disruption good. into the dead. Shadow Realm, or the Brambles, I should say. Easy pick off. This 33 takes a tumble. Ace, though, <laughs> getting triple teamed here. One versus three. 
they can't get this, this would be very brutal. Another timber chain is up, and it's able to TP out. Nice getaway for him. Really hard kill for Liquid to get. Yeah, good old like timber saw or like any offlane that just rushes Helm of Iron Will against. I mean, their lane really doesn't give you like the most threat Good damage. Yeah. What about once he hits six? Is then there's enough? damage. He can die at six yeah. to the Marcy. They just said though. I feel like both sides are hitting the other and just don't do damage. Like the timber saw presses all spells and the IO heals up. Yeah. Like they're all just like kind of farming. Yeah. So I mean, they're at least pretty happy to like kick him out and slow him down. Yeah, by no means is it bad just to keep going on the timber and yeah. bring the bench. Uh, I think the big thing is now Puck is getting a little space. Mm -hmm. His tower fell, I believe, but his game is going to not be like in the dumpster dumpster. He'll, yeah. he'll have plays to make on the map. Yeah, there's Maelstrom getting close for the troll and Nisha the same. Thousand away. I feel like people have gotten better at when they lose their lane to not like make it. It doesn't bleed too hard like yeah. into the game. I've seen it more and more, especially in the last days. Like even here, sure you're losing, but you just back off, you farm. It's definitely a skill of like how to lose lanes properly. Yeah. And, like, Which sounds stupid, but yeah. it is a real skill. <laughs> and so, Quinn, if anything, probably isn't the best there just because he wins his lane so much. True. <laughs> um, so it's so not very experienced. He's not it. usually in this position of losing yeah. his lane, but you know. They, they know, he knows what to do, right? He mm -hmm. stacks his camps, he gets six, they're gonna smoke him, because every kill you get when you're behind matters way more than yeah. kills when you're ahead. So if they get some kill randomly on this IO or the Marcy, they're even bringing the troll. Yeah. I like this move big from the There's the coil to start things out, only on the Mickey for now, but that is the big prize. There's a TP coming in, we're only Axe to apply the boxy. Tethers to Mickey under the cover of the, tr of the tower, and 33 has made his rotation over, will be disrupted. Rambles go down as well. Ace trying to take out Boxy, but so far everyone from Liquid is relatively healthy, but it's still overwhelming numbers from Game and Gladiators. Finally, they'll take down the IO. Here comes Sniper. Exposed from Mickey. Sniper coming in. <laughs> Nisha helping out to kill off Celery. So support for support so far. As through the gate, Duraccio goes. Looks like that'll break things up. So somehow it's only a support for support. So they brought, what, 10 heroes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, it uh, ends up being really good for Liquid. They got to defend their safe line tower. Oh, Troll is on. There's something happening up top as Bat and Troll are fighting each other. Got the classic matchup. Uh, 33. Uh oh. Firefly is going to be ending soon. Really Bramble's looking. there. Mickey able to traverse across of it, but he still has the. Yeah, Boxy might just be taking Mickey back. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, nothing will happen here. It looks like they'll, they'll both live. The safe line towers are really important. Oh. No way he does. Oh, Sniper's oh, actually here. Yeah, Sniper is made. This is uh, oh. four members of Liquid just pounding on Ace, and finally they cut through the Timber Saw. Now they can get the Tier 1 tower as well. Yeah, I don't know if there's been Ancient stacks, but this could be bad for gaming if they ever stacked Ancients for the Timber. Sniper can clear pretty easy with like a Venshang next to him, and yeah. it's like a lot of gold. Yeah, I'm not sure if they've really had many stacks. Maybe up top, right, with the SD, yeah. it's more likely. It's still always just good to take away just ancient camps for yeah. them to farm for free. Both Troll and Timber kind of want to control that area of the map, and so killing this tower is basically more than giving yourself map, it takes away map from the enemy, as mm -hmm. opposed to like the safe lane towers, which are more about yeah. giving your team more farm. 33 taking some nice stacks here, has the Veil, we'll be going for the Blink Dagger next. Not I, that many stacks for Gaiman. I, I do like that they're going like... I think 3-3 is changing his build a bit. I'm not sure if he rushed Blink the other days. But I think right now if you're not getting any like aggressive teamfight items in the mid-game as Liquid, like I think you want to give yourself the chance where you can start the fight. Instead of we're just farming everywhere on the map, Gaiman makes some smoke and like catch us off guard. So I do like this deviation. Yeah. And this 3k lead for Liquid. Two of that is basically Nisha and how hard he <laughs> won that lane. Yeah. We'll yeah, he's still a whole lead, basically. Yeah, has a Maelstrom, so Dragonlance next. Yeah, the question is, is I don't, I want to see how Liquid kind of plays around this Marcy Io. Mm -hmm. I think they've been a little quiet, just because they couldn't stomp their lane. Yeah. I think usually when you have Marcy Io, you kind of want to stomp your lane. And so, I think they're hoping that their draft will be a little faster. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of now in this lull where they took every single tower besides the safe lane tower, but you don't want to force this tower too much, because then you'll get, like, out farmed by gaming, so yeah. I think it's gonna be a little awkward to see how they make this first move. I can see them like make so they're like they were stacking ancients. I think when 3 3 gets like blink, like maybe around yeah. this like nighttime start, you make some move top, you relocate in, or maybe you even just double gate. 
Because I think if Liquid get one easy kill, like in nighttime up top or even just take over the area, their Roche is really easy. Yeah. Right? Marcy old, overcharge, sniper, venge. It's like, definitely they, their playstyle has to be a little different. I think it's a little more farm oriented this game. Yeah. Because usually most teams, their mid has some sort of fight, like impact to mm -hmm. start a fight. Uh, where Sniper just doesn't. Yeah. Sniper's like completely relying on Marcy and Bat to start every single fight. So, and the Bat doesn't want to tell Blink. Yeah. Gwen opening it up. It's terrorized with the coil, so that's going to be a snapped it. Mickey. They're going to try to focus down the IO first, but able to get away. And swap now from Insania, trying to focus on Quinn. Rebound connects. Holy Has Illusory Orb out. The Dispose was there. He's really slow. And he's just going to get taken out by a casual right click from Mickey. And now Gaiman on the run. Even Nisha has come. So much damage. So he's it's relocated back, it looks like. So Nisha TP'd in, and I think Boxy reload him like behind he, enemy yeah. lines. That was actually pretty cool. I would like to see a replay on that. Now really fast smoke. They're going to yeah. try to catch this troll off guard. Which I don't think he expects this at it's all. Good read if he gets out. Yeah, nice that. lasso dead. there. Of course, Sriracho does have his ult. Uh, that looks like it will only delay the inevitable here yeah. as he is taken out swiftly by Liquid, who now have a 4k lead. That's a really good rotation. Yeah. They'll get the safe lane tower. Bat's going to be able to get more farm and have more like lanes to jump. Like He can jump top or mid with this Blink Dagger. And it's going to be scary for gaming to kind of make moves on the map. I don't think the Timbersaw has kind of done enough in terms of pressure on the enemy. Mm -hmm. And it's just because his game's slow, right? Like, he doesn't have this dagger that we see the Timbersaws usually get really, yeah. really fast. And it's going to be a lot of playing off the back foot. I think they might have to end up just splitting and not really taking fights. Mm -hmm. But you can tell they know that this bot tower matters so much for them to be able to split push. Yeah. Like, they, they forced it two times now, bringing, like, five heroes first time, five heroes again, and it, it didn't work out either time. I mean, it, it seems a bit hard for gaming because obviously they're they're down in gold, so it's gonna be harder to play. But kind of what they rely on is you need to like kill someone quickly or like burst a backliner. But you have to do it against IO saves with Mac. You have Venge swap, and your heroes don't have the most damage yet. So I think yeah, as Gunnar was saying, they probably have to rely on some like chill a bit, maybe force him around, maybe get double blink. Right? Ace yeah. now has his. I'm not sure how close Quinn is to his because I assume he's going which play blink. Yeah, yeah so he's he, 2,000 gold away. Yeah. I think we saw a similar thing in gaming's last... Sometimes I think it's easier as... Okay, oh, Ace, Ace died. See you later. Sad. Sometimes it's... When you're behind, sometimes it feels easier to take a tower, not by, like, running your head into it, but by, like, splitting the map and slowly, like, and eventually, poking it over the, time. Yeah, you cut waves yeah. and they waste TPs. Would you say that's kind of, like, what gaming are maybe going to resort to? I think they probably have to. Yeah. I think it would have been much better for them if they either their moves were successful to take the tower or they started off, you know, not forcing it ever yep. and just kind of letting that happen. So now they're kind of stuck in the thing where it's like gambler fallacy, mm -hmm. where it's like, do you keep ramming your head in this tower because yeah. you know you have to take it or do you just give up knowing that you've wasted resources and no, like keep going. killed? Don't stop. Yeah. Just keep going. Just <laughs> yeah. keep running That's at the tower. To see. <laughs> Gambler's fallacy indeed. That's the only way to get out of the rut is to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Gaiman will look for at least, I think, the Rachio's BKB and also the Shard on Celery, which is, of course, pretty close. So it will help a little bit against the Bad Rider's damage, but luckily for, Li for Liquid, they have a lot of uh, other sources Celery. of damage. He's spotted. Is that should be a freebie. Mickey, I believe, has his Ags coming very shortly. Yeah. Something crazy is that well, Mickey is above the Troll in Net Worth when the Troll's like Battle Fury mm. farming really fast. Yeah, that's true. I guess he's, I mean, male short farming, but yeah. same, same concept. I guess he's got a couple Quinn. kills. Oh, Quinn. boy, he might be caught out. He is destroyed. Man, they have been on top of Quinn all game. Assassinate, not going to go through. Oh, <laughs> nice trying to try. go for the rebound. <laughs> Dispose does not Two stun. Two years ago, that would have stunned him. Yeah. It would have really cool. <laughs> well, Sonny's just got to try. As this should be, yeah, there's another tier two. Also, Liquid are getting some very aggressive wards. And sometimes these base wards, I think they're like a little bit of a meme. I mean, but in this case, they have both Bat and Venge to like get people out of position. They have a relocate. They're looking at Duraccio. Uh -oh. Insania wants to uh -oh. They know he's here. And they will run into him very shortly, Insania. There's the magic missile, 33 jumping in. Has the lasso, will wait for Mickey to come in and Ooh. finish the job. But Duraccio <laughs> gets the ult off. Wait. But nice. this will just delay it. As eventually the troll will fall again. 7k lead for Liquid, as you can see, Gaiman. They oh, they're on the reload. 
Yeah, they want to try and find somebody. Oh, Timber Chain misses. That's not a good way to start catch. an air ball, as they would call it. <laughs> Mr. Kazu. Good job getting in the NBA. <laughs> Do you think Trollo should redirect that easily? He literally pops a flame break and he's like, <laughs> go hit oh, someone else. <laughs> yeah. uh, Trollo's, a, Trollo's weird. He is. I don't know how to feel about it. It's They keep like buffing it like, oh, you can use items now. Yeah, yeah that was a big buff. Oh, it's easier to click your spells because like, you can click the W and the E now. But yeah. like, I think he's better than people give him credit for, but the problem, he's still like a very volatile carry. Yeah. It's very easy to look like a clown when you play Troll. Yeah, there's times where he clicks it and he just like latches on a guy, latches on a guy, gets like three kills back to back during yeah. the ult. And then there's the others where he like bounces around like a, like a ping pong ball. Gaiman need to do something about this vision. I don't think at least like one or two of these three wards that Liquid have, I think they need to get blasted off the map. That might be the first one up top. Yeah, it's just, just D ward. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just find them. I mean, the map, the map is so big now that I think there's been a lot of research on wards and just like different warding locations by a lot of the supports, and it's a lot harder to find them than it used to be in the past. What does this mean, research? You guys have special programs now. <laughs> we have a lasso. And the Dark Willow into the low ground. Tofu will drop. I'm sure things have uh, evolved quite a bit in the research department since I was involved in that area. Yeah, I mean, research more meaning just probably going in like a demo People lobby. trying. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're actually know. trying now. Oh, that's that's a big <laughs> difference. That's true. You spent like <laughs> 10 minutes doing a little homework. Yeah. We hot picking uh, Slark mid and TI finals. Shock that's, that didn't work. That's a good, good research, of course. Wilt there's a different, <laughs> there's a different the team that picks Pudge in the TI finals. That's true. Yeah, they they researched that one, though. <laughs> they, did they do the research, the homework? I mean, I would say, though, like for Dire, because I know it's, it's really hard to like kind of get back on the map, especially no, against this draft. But the thing is, the more you lose your map against Liquid's draft, you're just gonna slowly lose the game. I think you may even want to like go back to maybe trying to like squeeze in perhaps a gem for gaming. Just try to help yourself. Like just kind of be on the map, have Quinn like resort to split pushing. I mean, he still doesn't have blink, so it feels very sad. Yeah, Nisha is the, is will the time for split pushing too late though? They don't have a mid tier three. So like at some point you have to fight, right? Yeah, I mean, it's probably with the yeah. Shiva on Ace, maybe blink on Quinn or There's something. There's BKB troll. This is. Probably their best timing to fight. I think the game's gonna get harder and harder if Liquid gets Aegis right now, which like is pretty much free at any point. They can just maybe just end the game. Just walk together as five. Don't do anything else. Yep, Gaiman have to get something out of this initiation onto 33. Really the baby good. swap coming Not out from Insania. Whirling axes onto three heroes. So Mickey's gonna start missing already. Two dead for Liquid just like that. But a buyback now is Zoraccio pops the BKB and his ult going to town on the Mickey, but Mickey is more than healthy. Thanks to the IO support, and this Ags is ripping through them. Double kill for Nisha, as the game and gladiators heroes are dropping like flies. That was like an almost perfect jump, right? Timberstone yeah. goes in, gets burst. They get a two-man fear on Bat and Venge. Like, I don't know if you can ask for a better jump than this, but it's not enough. And you get the troll BKB ulting the Marcy, right? Like that was what we they we talked about in the draft. Yeah. Like, you pick troll to outfight the Marcy. And it doesn't happen. Mm. Troll he, things. I mean, Nisha, it, it is... I mean, it's probably, like, one of the best jumps you can have. I mean, in that situation, it's the best thing they're ever going to get. Yeah. If they ever get another fight, I don't know. It's going to be really hard to somehow smoke around and get on Nisha. That will be the only fight I could ever see go better for them. But they're going to be even more behind than they were before this fight. Yep, yep. Already, a melee Rax will be going down in favor of Liquid. Yep. And game in. Not much they can do. This is this is another game kind of unique to the rest of the pack since we cast yesterday that they're able to take a Rax before even attempting Roche. Yeah. Two games in two days? Billy's Roche. Never seen such a thing. Maybe they like checked it and it was just on the opposite side of the map and they forgot. <laughs> <laughs> True. We need some more Dota games, but it should be on their on their menu now or soonish. Looks like it's just at this point. Yeah. That's free. So Mickey is going to go BKB now. I'm also surprised that he was actually able to man fight the troll without a BKB. Like with the mischance on him too. He was still just like out fighting the troll. I guess Boxy was helping him a lot, right? With some tether mech. Yeah, but yeah, e like even then. Yeah, you're right. Aegis will just go to Nisha. I think they'll just put Nisha in front. 
if he gets jumped really hardcore, he can get swapped away, get reloaded away. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things where you say to your team now, like, guys, literally don't do anything but stand there and watch me end the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. He's Which got his concussive grenade as well for the extra getaway. I think the only way that the fight can go really bad for them is if his team gets antsy. And, like, Ven tries to aggressive swap or Bat tries to, like, blink last or something. Mm -hmm. I think, honestly, if they don't do anything at all on the other four heroes and just sit there, hands off keyboard, watch the sniper do everything, then yeah. it's better. Sometimes less is more. What do you th what do you think gamer need to like be thinking about right now? Because I think you should probably be expecting to liquid just go hit your high ground, right? Like you kind of know it's coming. They probably just need buys and to bait some big spells, like bait the lasso, bait the marcial, and fight after it. Mm -hmm. uh, so you think it comes from baiting aggression by you being like defensive, but like kind of baiting it on like the right yeah, line? Yeah, I, I think if you try to dive in too far, it's just not gonna work out for okay. them. Well, you the need to make it so that known as Nisha. Yeah. Almost getting the tower all by his lonesome. Okay, so and what do a gamer need to do if Nisha doesn't bite? Or no one bites on liquid? No one bites. <laughs> like no one bites the bait. Start like dropping your items. Okay. <laughs> Gwen, alright, already at half HP. Oh. Rebound. He is dead. He bit. Just like that. He bit up way more than he could chew. That shawarma <laughs> was way smiling. too large for him. And this is gonna be a second lane of racks for Liquid. They could steal the Tormi if they want. I don't even know if it's even worth the time at this point. Backdoor protection kicks in, but it is only Kill just the range backdoor. racks. Oh, that's all. And will they just continue to go for the Megas now? As you can see, Gaiman just pushing out the creeps. 20 seconds for Quinn. Looks like they're going to hold this ward and try to jump them. <laughs> Look, at this. Look at the positioning. I mean, they will have to go more aggro soon. Since, yeah. I mean, they want to like wait a bit for Quinn to respawn, right? Maybe if, go on the back line. If they find both supports, like the Venge and the Io staying next to each other, it's Sanya. It All could right. Be bad. He's going to spot him now. The Shiva's coming in from Ace. Timber Chain and Wayne Boxy. Going to pop the mech in to stay alive. Mickey jumping in, forcing the BKB onto Duraccio. Already, Ace is dead. Duraccio forced to use the ult, and now the kiting begins. But the root is there. They yes, might be able to take Mickey's out Mickey. Dead. They do. That is not the Aegis carrier. They will lose the troll in the end, though, the buyback down of the Shadow Demon. The coil. From Quinn into the Terrorize. A little bit late, though, and there's the lasso. Quinn dies again, and that should do it. As Nisha still very healthy, still with Aegis, and still with that gun, as GG's are called Liquid dominating game number one. Yeah, I feel like with this... I feel like, to me, this comes down at least a lot to, well, not just the last pick, but I do 